Hi, I'm Joe Roman, and I'm a conservation biologist, writer, and researcher at the University of Vermont. I've been researching whales and whale poo for more than a decade now. For a long time, we've been looking at the influence of what we call a whale pump, where whales dive deep to feed, come to the surface and breathe, and also release nutrients like nitrogen and iron to the surface where it's picked up by phytoplankton. Here in Hawaii, I'm looking at another process, one that we call the Great Whale Conveyor Belt, where whales feed in high latitudes, such as Alaska, and then come to low latitudes in the winter to breed. Here in Hawaii, for example, we have large humpback populations that are now currently breeding here. And they're also releasing nutrients like nitrogen, which could have an impact on the Hawaiian ecosystem. When whales move these nutrients, it can increase productivity and also can have an impact on the climate. They, by releasing these nutrients, it can draw down carbon dioxide and reduce, reduce some of the carbon in the atmosphere. Thanks to the support of whale and dolphin conservation, I've been able to assemble a great team to look into this idea, modeling how baleen whales transport limiting nutrients like nitrogen from high latitude cold regions where they feed to warmer regions, and what that might mean for making areas of the ocean like Hawaii more productive.